Hey traders, control the trade here. Today is January 31st, 2021. Following up on a GameStop video that I did, which seems like I did like a year ago, because we were talking about prices in the 40s being important for a breakout. And now, well, you know what happened now. Everybody's talking about this. It's hit pop culture. It's hit the news. You can't turn the TV on. You can't watch YouTube without something popping up about GameStop, even Saturday Night Live. It's crazy. So before I get into that, let's look at the tweet from the 27th. This was posted This was posted at 9.18 a.m. Eastern right before the market opened. Obviously very hard to chart something that's never been to the levels that GameStop hit. And also you have the side story hype and the crazy going on at the same time. Not normal market activity, but 250, 277. So let's look at this 250. 353 was a number. Let's go to the chart. On the 27th, it opened three, almost 355. The high was 380. Look at the low, 249. Let's go back to the tweet. 250. So that became our new support. So where's GameStop going now? Your guess is as good as mine, but we can drown out all the noise, all the hype, and we can just go right to the chart and at least get a good idea of where GameStop might be going and even if reddit users say they're not selling I don't fully believe that I'm sure there are people that will hold to the end whatever they're calling diamond hands or whatever they're calling it but when push comes to shove people's money that's what they're gonna think about first they're gonna take profits or they're gonna avoid losing more importantly they're gonna avoid losing their money and we saw that on this candle here let's take a look we saw that on this day i think it was the day that with all the robin hood fiasco i think we got a glimpse of that let me give you a quick story on that for that we're going to go to a 10 minute chart so we can you can see what i'm talking about a lot of people have just jumped into gamestop just because they think it's a free lotto ticket i had a friend that bought it i think 265 and of course right after that this is what happened and this was the day that i think people were not allowed to buy they were only allowed to sell which that's a whole other story you can find plenty of videos online talking about that and the problems with that but i think this was kind of what we saw when i'm talking about when it comes to people's money they're going to get out they're going to panic i was talking to my friend and as it starts to go down he is basically trying to jump to the panic sell and he told me he couldn't get his order to sell at 150 executed because we, we kept having the gamestop kept being halted this whole time so as everyone's just trying to sell off sell off sell off finally it found support down here the bleeding stopped and then we we just shot back up but look once we lost support around this area and actually one of the numbers i have on this chart we just flushed down almost to another support area but just a little below that probably because of the panic selling and then we got some support went back up now there's panic selling of course everyone knows that falling knife and then what i've what I like a term that I like that I learned from who I learned to chart from panic buying which is a short squeeze so that's what we're looking for that's what GameStop has been it's been panic buying to cover it's this move the opposite so the whole point of me talking about this part of the chart this is a an indication of how quickly GameStop can go down just remember that I'm not saying it's going to go down anytime soon or when but when if and when it does or when it does i should say it will be fast and ugly and scary if you're holding so for them so for people to say they're just going to hold it i'm again i'm sure there are people that have made, have made a ton of money and they will go down with the ship or close to it but the majority of the people that are doing this will panic and they will sell let's take a look at a daily chart not much we can get out of the daily chart right now to be honest because it's a complete mess what you have here is i don't know 10 years of price activity in 10 days so never chart anything like this before but let's clear out of the mess and just look at the chart itself and look for support and look for areas and one area that stands out to me I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon but I've tweeted about this too I really think we're gonna go back to 77 at some point and it could be it could be soon 77 was actually there was a gap left open right here 76 79 was the close and we opened at 8856 
77 was a number I identified, I think, even before this happened. So I think it was resistance up here. Yeah, 76, 76 was the high on this day. With all the hype, maybe we'll still see more of a squeeze. The, the thing is, there is still a very high short interest on the stock. If you head over and over to Finviz, and I can't believe this still, the short flow. Now, again, this may not be completely up to date, but it's still 122%, which is completely nonsensical. This, to me, if I'm going to give my opinion here, and others have expressed the same opinion, is the issue that started. This is the root issue. You should not be able... No stock should be able to be shorted beyond 100%, or even at, a, I think, even 100%. And I don't know what it should be, but it definitely shouldn't be more than the amount of shares that exist. How does that make any sense? So that's why you get this violent squeeze when you have over-leveraged position. You know, normally when I do a sh when I'm looking at short squeezes and the short float, maybe 25, 30, 35, 40% of the shares are shorted. Now that I've seen instances like Peloton was 60% not too long ago, but 122%. So the, the fact is there's still a lot of shares that have to be covered. The wild card is all the shenanigans that's going on right now, though, too. And the fact that this has become so trendy that it actually worries me that once something becomes this known and this popular and this on everyone's radar, the opposite tends to happen. Just saying, just an opinion. So again, we just have to look to the chart for answers. Right now, our line, our high is 483. I know we hit 513 approximately in after hours or um, before, a mark, before the market opened one of these days, I think this day. But we have to look at the daily chart and what it's telling us is 483 is the high. So you will see resistance up here. You'll see resistance at the high here, which is about almost 414. It'll be very interesting to see where GameStop opens on Monday. Will the hedge funds continue to cover their shorts? Will they double down? And will the Reddit users continue to buy this up and and put the pressure down and put, put the pressure on? Will everyone start to buy this up because of all the hype and because they everyone wants to jump in on this trend? So what you could see is another leg higher, but eventually, and we don't know when, you're going to see a really hard crash. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You better believe that works in markets too. Isaac Newton knew his shit, and that applies here too. And if you don't think math and physics and psychology affect the stock market overall, keep watching my videos and others like it because that's what leads the market. Not the news, the charts, the technicals, the math, the psychology. All those things are way more important than news. Yes, news can be a spark. News can be the catalyst. But it activates the charts. So I've said this before. Be very careful with GameStop. If anything, look for an an opportunity to buy on capitulation. Look for the panic on the way down if you're going to buy into this and maybe take that free ride on the way up when all the hedge funds start to cover again. We don't know what's going to happen and don't gamble on this. It's my advice, something I invite you to think about before you fall into the hype. And my last thought on this for now is these, these meme stocks, to me, not too much different than the dot-com bubble 99 2000 style and when I say that I'm talking about the psychology of the market and the timing of the market I'm not talking about valuations or fundamentals or the Fed pumping money or any of that stuff strictly from a psychological perspective thanks for taking the time to watch this video on GameStop good luck out there and remember don't let the trade control you